gives you GG here. Today, we conquer forest. The minimum we can expect is 22. That is 14 hall in ones and four hall in twos. Um, and I think it's basically the minimum we're ever gonna get. There is one hole that I'll talk to you when we're at that hole. I think we can maybe get a hole in one. But other than that, hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. Hole number one, quite easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go flat. And if you're looking for lovers, you'll see a white line. And we're basically going to go to the uh, next line, which is uh, the dark line, which is going to be called one, one after that two, and then the third straight line is number three. And what you're going to do is aim at two, you're going to bring it back to three square power. Quite simple. Um, if you aim to the left of the second one, you'll uh, have a greater chance of missing. If you aim between the second and third, you should still get it in. Releasing will give you a hole in one. Hole number two, uh, yeah, quite easy. Look at the flag, 1.5 power bars, um, straight, uh, and as long as it's straight, you'll get it in. Hole number three, one of the trickier holes uh, on this course, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the over position and you're gonna aim at this cross, which is the third one from the bottom. And uh, you're gonna aim slightly to the left, um, Still sort of going over it, uh, a tiny bit more power um, and release and uh, you're going. Um, if you don't, um, you'll end up on the rim, but that should be an easy uh, two putter. Hole number four is just about timing. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, go to maybe the flat or at least uh, so you can see the whole of the wooden uh, rotation thingy. <laughs> And you're going to go to two power bars and you're just going to hit it straight. And now you're going to hit it just before the wooden goes vertical. Um, to avoid hitting the wood. Hole number five. Um, we're going to go flat. And if you can see the wood's container on the background, the wooden thing, you're going to aim at the left leg of it. Um, and then you're going to bring it back. And you're just going to go slightly over two square power. If you go under, uh, you'll hit the triangle thing. If you go over, you'll miss the flag on the other side. So just slightly over, release at the left leg, and you'll go straight in. Hole number six, uh, quite easy. The butterfly just disappeared. <laughs> you're just going to go free power, um, and you're just going to aim straight at the flag. Uh, make sure. You can't see the blue uh, power bar going across to the other side of the line. Releasing will put you in. Hole 7 and 8 are two of the hardest uh, holes on this map um, to get every single time. What you're going to do is you're going to go into the over position and you're going to aim um, at the right of this nail. So you're going to use the dark a bit of the wood and you're going to pull it back and you're going to go to the dark uh, edge of the dark bit of the shadow releasing you'll bounce off and come back in if you miss you'll get an easy two put hole number eight least favorite uh, hole on this map uh, what you can do is you're going to go flat and then you're going to go full power and you're basically aiming at uh, the uh, trunk of the tree ahead of us you are aim to the sort of middle right and you're going to release when you've got a clear view and you'll uh, bounce in you might either bounce out on that or uh, get an easy two put hole number nine quite an easy one um, unless you're really unlucky like I am what you're going to do is you're going to go flat and you're going to go to four bar power uh, aiming straight uh, and just release after the blade passes and you'll circle around and you'll pop in the 10 uh, not that hard but once you get it wrong once you'll get it wrong loads uh, you're going to go one left and then five up in the over position make sure you are in the over position and then you're going to go slightly over that cross power using the cross as uh, your direction 
uh, you're just going to release when the uh, rotation blades uh, line up. You want to make sure you don't hit the far one, that's the problem. And if you don't hit the rotation blades, you'll go in. Pole number 11 is literally just about accuracy, full power, and then basically what I do is I go flat, doesn't really matter, but you're basically trying to get the ball as close to this uh, wooden uh, plank as possible. Um, it takes a couple tries to get used to how wide your ball is at that distance, uh, but full power, release, and you bounce off this wall and go in. The 12, um, impossible to get into one, but it is possible to get into two. Um, quite a tricky one though, you're going to aim here at uh, where this line touches the wood uh, and you're going to bring it up to uh, this line's power um, and as long as your accuracy and your power are correct you'll land near sort of a cross um, and then what you want to do um, is aim at the flag, I go flat, you don't need to uh, but I go flat just so I can see only the top of the uh, flag and then you're going to aim at it 2.8 power um, you'll get used to this power once you've played this horse multiple times. Um, if you go too strong, you'll hit it out. Um, release, you bounce off, and you're going. Hole number 13, uh, don't go that way. <laughs> and what you're going to do is you're going to go to O position. And as you can see on the far triangle, there's an axe. Um, and you're going to aim at the wooden end, so the butt of the uh, axe, uh, what you're going to do is going to go over and you're going to go to three square power and then it's just about accuracy, it's quite a hard shot to get your eye in, um, but if you do, you bounce off and you're going. Hole number 14, I've seen someone get it holding once once, um, but I think that might be outdated now. Um, as you can see, I'm actually on my third stroke. Uh, first stroke, something weird happened to me that never happened before. But basically, the most consistent way and pretty much easy way is to go full power, aiming at the right target at the center dot. Uh, this will bounce you over here and get you uh, in a good position to get it into. Uh, this is one hole that maybe I can get it uh, in a one, but. At the moment, I'm very doubtful. I've got to sort of this position here. I've got like going past here before, but I've never got it in one. I think it might be impossible. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do is want to go to 0 0.75 power um, and just release. Easy to. Number 15, really annoying that you can't actually see that it is hole number 15. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people go this way, but what I found is, if you go over, um, over is not needed, but it's just so you can sort of get a better angle, and you're going to aim at where um, the first line, uh, first green square going up touches the wood, um, so as you can see that's where I'm aiming now, and you're just going to bring the power back slightly uh, to about 2.8, 2.9, um, and you're just going to release and what will happen is you bounce up here and you get an easy two put this is the easiest two put normally you have to make a difficult one down there occasionally you'll fall in here um, but if you get it correct uh, and you get used to it you'll get it in two um, and obviously if you get it down there then you can either try that shot again or you can do the uh, normal free power uh, over here okay and then it's just a simple half power shot into the hole This is one that I think will be possible to get in one eventually. Hole number 15, I'm really hopeful. Hole number 16, not that hard, although I am stroke five, because I've missed two shots. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go flat, and you're gonna go full power at the cross here at the bottom of the ramp. Uh, and then just release when the slider gets to the left hand side. What will happen? is you'll bounce off here and you'll go in uh, if you miss slightly uh, the slider will knock you in 
17. Um, it's quite a tricky shot, but um, it is possible in a hole in one. Uh, what you're going to do is just any angle, you're going to go free, and you're going to aim at the center of the red shot. Now, this one is a bit tricky, and you may miss, but if you do miss, it'll be an easy shot in two. Eighteen is just all about timing and then for the second shot it's just pray. Uh, so what we're gonna do is gonna go over and over just so I can see this like uh, this cross to be fair and uh, we're gonna go full power here and then we're gonna time it when the wood gets between the second and third sprung uh, from the bottom and we're looking at the sprungs close to us. Sprung I'm just calling the silver things I don't know what else to call them. Um, So what we're hoping for is to end between these two. Okay. And now as you can see we're on this line. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to power and it's gonna be here. Okay, and what we're gonna use is the R. And you'll see that we're sort of the left of the right R bit. That's the best I can explain it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim just left of this uh, cross here. Here. This is quite a hard shot, you may miss, but if you miss this, you'll just get it in two. Uh, in, in three, sorry, overall. Uh, and we're gonna release when uh, the rolling gets to that cylinder. And voila. As you can see, it's a different total just because I had some trouble with this hole in the first recording. Thank you very much. So yeah, that was my video. As you can see on the screen right now, um, is basically each hole and it's got a brief description of what I told you um, yeah so if you need to copy this down you can copy it down now uh, pause the video uh, I will try to remember to put it in the description um, along with the timestamps of each hole hope you enjoyed I'll be doing Oasis next um, any help on that would be greatly appreciated if you know any ways of improving uh, this hole then that was fantastic um, if you know how to get a hole in one on 12, uh, 14, 15 or 18, then I would love to know. Uh, let's try and get down to 18 hole in ones. Thank you. See you next time.